Did you know that in 2017, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, 3,166 people were killed in 2,935 distraction-affected crashes? That's 9% of all fatal crashes in the United States. Did you know that? We are back with Most Wanted Monday. Lieutenant Tim Robinson, the Comico County Sheriff's Office. Thank you so much for being here. Um, before we get to the fugitives, yeah. One of the biggest things when it comes to crashes is distracted driving with cell phones. It is. Um, people have been driving down the road, they feel they have to they have to answer a message right away or they've gotten that sense of convenience to be able to send a text message, to make a phone call. And it, it's shown that when folks start you know, getting distracted, they can be just as dangerous as somebody driving down the road who is heavily intoxicated. Cause they, they'll, they'll stop paying attention, they'll become more focused on their device. Right. Next thing you know, they're involved in a crash, you either rear end somebody or hit somebody coming the other way. As a matter of fact, Maryland has actually passed a law that, that actually mandates jail time if you are involved in an accident where there's a fatality and it's in one of these situations. So put it down, it can wait, it can wait. Okay, so uh, you had a capture. Yes, we had one capture this past week. Trajan Asia McCready. Yep, that's one more we're not looking for. And you have more that we are. Yes, I brought six. I got six folks that I uh, hope your viewers know something about today. This is the first one. This is Alan Michael Smart. Tell us about him. Yes, Alan Smart, for any of your viewers in the Mardella Springs area, live out in the west side of Wacomico County, we have a big interest in getting hold of Mr. Smart. Um, also, by coincidentally, um, we're going to send some birthday greetings out to him because <laughs> yesterday, yesterday was his birthday. So we hope to give these birthday greetings in person. <laughs> we have an arrest warrant that was issued in connection uh, with an assault second degree and reckless endangerment. We've been actively trying to find him for a few days and we can't find him. So if you know where Alan Michael Smart is or you know where he works, where he hangs out, just pick up the phone and call Crime Solvers right now. Here's Terry Lydell Copes Sr. Yes, Terry Copes, uh, we believe going to be right here in Salisbury and we have a warrant that was issued uh, connection for uh, failing to appear. He did not make an appearance when required to answer the drug charges. So if anybody knows where Mr. Copes is, give me believe him to be right here in Salisbury. And all you have to do is just pick up the phone and call Crime Solvers to report his location. And there's that number on your screen, Justin Nigel Gosley. Justin Gosley, he was supposed to report to the sheriff, actually report to the detention center uh, back last spring to mm -hmm. begin serving a sentence back in April. And he, uh, he decided not to show up. So what happens in that point is these things just don't go away. Now he's got an additional charge of escape in the second degree. All right, Look, be looking for Amanda Christine Rooks. Yeah, Amanda Rooks, or well, we believe her to be right here in Salisbury. We have a bench warrant that was issued for Ms. Rooks after she violated the terms of her probation and a case where she already been convicted of drug possession. So if anybody knows where Ms. Rooks is, just pick up the phone and call Crime Solvers. See if you recognize Ronnie Dwayne Turner. Ronnie Turner, we believe he's gonna be right here in Salisbury still. We have a bench warrant that was issued after he violated his probation in a case where he'd already been convicted of DUI. So if anybody knows where Mr. Turner is, um, please pick up the phone, call Crime Solvers, again, we believe him to be right here in Salisbury. Last but not least, Pythias Dion Wright. Pythias Wright, we have a warrant that was issued. Uh, as we've actually been looking for him for a couple years. He violated the terms of his probation in um, so some very serious traffic uh, charges where including DUI and other related charges. And we have, he has ties to this area. We also believe he may have um, relocated possibly to Texas or even New York. But if anybody knows where he is, give us that information because we can take steps to try to get him back here. All right, we've been keeping the number on your screen this entire time, but tell us the phone number yes, we need to call. Yes, 410-548-1776. And those operators are standing by right now and they'll be standing by all night and into tomorrow and all week to take your call, take your viewers' calls. And we need to get birthday yes. boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lieutenant Thank you. Robinson. Appreciate it very much.